Hey makers, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're building something super useful, an Arduino-based electronic component tester. If you've got a bunch of random passive components lying around, this project will help you figure out exactly what they are. This handy little tool can identify and test a wide variety of components, like resistors, capacitors, diodes, transistors, and even some basic MOSFETs. It gives you the value and even the pinout for transistors, which is awesome when the labels are worn off or unreadable. So let's make this project. Breadboard for placing all of the components easily. To make this project compact, we choose Arduino Nano for the main processing unit. 20 by four LCD display. This 20 by four, Character LCD display is built in with RW1063 controller IC, which are 68004 line SPI or I2C interface options. I2C LCD module. It is a type of module that communicates with a microcontroller or other device using the I2C serial communication protocol. It provides a way to display text and information on a simple, easy to use display. Now connect all components together. Place I2C LCD module behind the 20x4 LCD display. Connect pin ground, VCC, SDA, and SCL of the I2C module using jumper wire. Connect ground, VCC, SDA, and SCL of the I2C module to the Arduino ground, VCC, A4, and a 5-pin. Now place a 470 kiloohm and a 680 ohm resistors in series in the breadboard. Do the same for rest two sections. Connect jumper wire between 470 kilo ohm resistor open end and Arduino D13 digital pin. Then connect jumper wire between 680 ohm resistor open end and Arduino D12 digital pin. Do the same process for digital pin D11, D10, D9, D8, respectively. Connect jumper for test pin 1 from the middle of 3rd series resistors terminal. Connect jumper for test pin 2 from the middle of 2nd series resistors terminal. Connect jumper for test pin 3 from the middle of 1st series resistors terminal. Now place a push button switch in the breadboard to test all the components. Connect a 10 kilo ohm resistor at the VCC of the breadboard and one of the terminal of the push button. Connect a ground wire at the negative rail of the breadboard and another terminal of the push button. Connect a wire between 10 kilo ohm resistor and push button and insert it at A3 analog pin of the Arduino. Now insert a wire between A0 analog pin and test pin 1. Do the same process for A1, A2, A3, ground. 
connect a wire between Arduino ground and breadboard negative rail. Connect a wire between Arduino VCC and breadboard positive rail. Connect a jumper wire between test pin 1 digital pin side to a zero analog pin of the Arduino. Connect a jumper wire between test pin 2 digital pin side to A1 analog pin of the Arduino. Connect a jumper wire between test pin 3 digital pin side to A2 analog pin of the Arduino. Connect 10 kilo ohm resistors N terminal with VCC terminal of the breadboard. Circuit diagrams and Arduino source code are available in my website ElectroGadget. Link is given in the description. Now all connection is OK, and let's upload the code into the Arduino. Select Tools, then choose Write Arduino Board, Port, and Chipset. Then hit the Upload button. After uploading the code, you can clearly see the LCD is turned on. We can see multiple passive components using this Arduino component tester, like resistors, capacitors, diodes, LEDs, transistors, inductors, MOSFETs. Now it's time to test our project. This is a 10 microfarad electrolyte capacitor. Place it into the testing terminal of the breadboard. Press the push button. You can see the result is 9915 nanofarad that is equal to 10 microfarad. To make the project compact, I mount all the components on a double-sided PCB board. Also use a 16 by 2 LCD display as it is smaller than 20 by 4 LCD display. Connect 5 volt power supply to the power supply terminal of the component tester. Now switch on the project. Place a 100 ohm resistor into the test pin and press the test button. Place a 10 kilo ohm resistor into the test pin. Place a 10 microfarad capacitor into the test pin. Place a 3 mm red LED into the test pin. Place a 3 mm green LED into the test pin. Place a 1N4007PN junction diode into the test pin. Place a 12 volt Zener diode into the test pin. Place a 5 millihenry inductor into the test pin. Place a BC547NPN transistor into the test pin. Place a BC557 PNP transistor into the test pin.
That's it for the today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask in the comment. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It will inspire me to make such DIY projects.